It's been quite a roller coaster recently with the announcement of Hunter Hunter's return, which is absolutely amazing, and unfortunately Ayashimon being cancelled, making chapter 25 the final chapter. I can't really say I'm entirely surprised by the cancellation, but it still sucks to see a series that I actually really enjoyed end up like this. The only word that comes to mind right now is disappointing. It's always risky getting into early stories, since there's always a chance it'll never make it to the ending it deserves, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I said I was going to make more videos on Ayashimon in the future, but I didn't expect the end to come so soon, so if you haven't read it yet, I still recommend taking a look at it. But the last few chapters do get rather disappointing, and that's mostly what I want to talk about in this shorter video, so spoilers ahead. Ayashimon had a strange shift in the last few chapters that felt completely off to me. For a manga with such a strong start in my opinion to almost deteriorate into a fast paced mess that seemed to just skip around trying to rush to somewhat of a conclusion only to hardly show anything at all, it didn't quite ruin the manga for me, but it got pretty close. Everything up to and including the cotton fight, I really enjoyed. But after that, it all started to fall apart a little bit and just snowballed into a quick ending with almost nothing actually being finished. We still don't actually know what happened to Kyo, and we don't really know much of anything about Dopo, and some more mysteries came up with him, where his entire personality shifted after the death of Kyo. The entire conspiracy that he was killed and the situation was manipulated to give all of the power and control to Dopo just led to nothing except a glimpse at a fight we're never going to see. It's extremely frustrating to me. And I don't want to be entirely negative about it because there were actually some really good moments that I enjoyed in the later chapters, like the hotel fight where they were trying to avoid letting the human guests realize what was happening. That was funny, but there was very little that I actually enjoyed from the last five chapters roughly. There was a moment that seemed like a fourth wall break where it switched to a studio where they were making the manga, and that was a really cool moment. It was established that Maruo was really into manga, and it made a lot of sense that he would basically put himself in that situation while he was in somewhat of a catatonic state. But then stuff like having a training arc last basically a single chapter, where he suddenly gained all the efficiency he would ever need to actually stand a chance against Dopo, it, it just seemed in entirely rushed and not really thought out at all, which I can't really blame anyone for since it was probably extremely rushed due to the cancellation obviously, but it still sucked and I'm annoyed about it. The addition of the hotel guys, who I'm not gonna bother remembering the names of, would have made for so many interesting situations where they could have used their shape-shifting abilities for gathering information and training or just to infiltrate and sabotage but unfortunately they're only good for setting up a future fight that we just don't get to see. I never got a chance to talk about Cotton in my last video because he came out after the video, but he was such a cool character and I was looking forward to seeing how his personality would clash with everyone and his entire gang joining up could have led them to like slowly building power and allies to try and have a better chance at regaining power and it really seemed that's the route they were trying to take it but with the cancellation it turned into them getting immediately stuck into another battle that lasted a fraction of the time that all of the other battles lasted and it just read extremely poorly i don't know overall i'm extremely disappointed in this cancellation but what can you do about it I hope Yuji Kaku is doing well and can bounce back from this. I wish nothing but the best for him and his team, and I really look forward to reading whatever his next work is. And for what it's worth, I really did enjoy most of Ayashimon. As always, thanks for watching.